What's going on, guys? Welcome to another edition of the Nair Chase Channel. Your boy Nair Chase, and I do want to continue my series, uh, the Fallout Five Wish List. Well, continuing on, this is part eleven. I've done one through ten. Go check those bad boys out. Sorry, I've been a little bit laxing because I've got so much going on in my life. But hey, let's go ahead and get it in while we can. In part 11 of the Fallout 5 wish list, I want to elaborate on why we should have more unique weapons in the game. Uh, we definitely need to bring back the unique weapons. One of the best and most valuable weapons in any of the Fallout games is Fallout 3's Dark Gun, which I have to say is a complete cheat because if you're fighting any monster that's... Uh, Pretty fast and exceptionally strong and durable. That dart gun uh, does come in handy. But I will say that was one of the goading points for Fallout 3. Uh, the dart gun is a weapon capable of crippling any creature. Uh, especially, definitely helpful with the death claws. Because death claws in that freaking game are just relentless and fast. Um, uh, and other examples are the rocket launcher. The drone cannon, the railway rifle, and the mesmatron, which the mesmatron was actually pretty cool because you used it to uh, make get slaves. You you mesmatron the person, they be dazed. You put the slave collar on them, and um, the railway rifle was uh, pretty cool. It, was, it had this. Uh, it was basically. Like a tr like you know train thing, you take the the spikes from the uh, rails of a, and you use that as a weapon. And I like when you shot it; it made that weird choo -choo sound like a train. Uh, I can't remember what the drone cannon was. I hadn't played it in a while. The rocket launcher was basically you shot trash. Uh, I think that was I think that's what it was. At least in Fallout Three. Um, and what about in New Vegas? New Vegas also featured the Tesla. Uh, be beaten, can uh, beaten uh, prototype, which I actually like that one. It shoots a shot of electrical charge, which is exceptionally powerful gun. The golden gloves and the Yaogwai uh, gauntlet, which the Yaogwai, uh, Yaogwai gauntlet was actually a really uh, effective weapon um, for close combat. Um, Fallout 4 even introduced some unique weapons, including the cryo, the cryolator, which froze. Uh, enemies, the uh, crim, crims, crimbus tooth. It's this curved, jagged knife that uh, it, I, think, I believe it poisoned uh, the person you were hitting. Uh, the broadsider, which was a freaking cannon, shooting cannonballs. That thing was freaking awesome. And the junk, the junk jet, which shot trash and 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 loot and stuff like that, which was also pretty cool. But we just don't need legendary weapons weapons which are souped up versions of the normal weapons we need specific weapons that are different from all the others now a lot of weapons in uh fallout 4 were were legendary ones and there there weren't that many specific sorry <sighs> sorry uh but the broadsider and the cryolator were probably my favorite in that game uh if the game features a hundred weapons then maybe 10 weapons are on are the only of their kind with their own specific attributes and abilities. I would actually say about 15 to 20. Uh, and make them exceptionally hard to get to. That way getting them um, is more of an appreciative effort. Uh, the Cryolator is reverse the flamer in which it freezes its targets. The broadside fires cannonballs and the Mesmatron, which can momentarily stun targets. Like we already talked about that. I would love to this game to have uh, a lot of new ideas concerning weapons. Uh, I like the fact that they do have some that are like uh, enemy based, such like the Death Claw Gauntlet, the Yagwe Claw Gauntlet. But we have new creatures. I want to see more, uh, more weapons attuned to those. Possibly more weapons attuned to maybe like robotic enemies. In Fallout 4, there is this mission in which you end up getting the head of one of those assault trons, and it fires off laser blasts. Now, it sucks that it builds uh, it, it builds up your radiation in the process, but it's actually a pretty cool gun, especially if you give it to a different companion. But 
in, uh, in the comment section below, guys, let me know your thoughts about what type of unique weapons you either want to see return for Fallout 5 or uh, ideas for new weapons that should be presented uh, in the game as original uh, or specific weapons. Uh, also, be sure to hit that like, share, subscribe, and that notification button to get the best of what's going on on this channel, and we'll catch you guys later.